Jody. <laughs> thanks, guys. Um, thanks, thanks for feeling, making me feel welcome. Um, I do want to share a little bit of a testimony. Um, I was going to kind of share this last week, but Andre's like, hey, how about not? <laughs> and I was like, yes, Andre. And, <laughs> and then he texted me, and he's like, you know, maybe you could share it today. So I just want to yield, first of all, to leadership. And second of all, just pray real quick. Father God, please uh, give me the words to speak. Give me the thoughts to think. And Lord, open up to me what you would like to speak today. To your children, to your people, to your beloved ones. Amen. Um, so I wanted to testify about um, how uh, God can destroy like a wrong thought pattern in just like an instant and something you don't even recognize as like a wrong thought pattern until like uh, leadership school, <laughs> morning prayer, 8 a.m. So I just kind of want to paint you guys a picture about what I'm going to be testifying about and then um, I'm going to go into it. Have you guys ever felt like you didn't have the courage to do something and like you felt like, man, I'm a wimp? <laughs> Men? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> um... So whenever I would face the enemy, like the devil, I would always feel like, uh, like I, I had to prove that I'm a good Christian, that I had to like show the enemy that I could testify, I could preach, street preach. Oh, that was scary, dude. Going out street preaching and like there's like this, I got to prove something. Um, I got to be courageous. I got to be strong and bold. I have to preach the gospel and I have to do it boldly. I can't be afraid. Um, and yet inside I was full of fear and scared and barely courageous but um, I want to share this moment of in prayer like maybe two weeks ago we were at 8 a.m. prayer and we st uh, like my prayers I don't even know what I was praying about but this guy like next to me he's like hey you know I feel like you're actually dealing with some pain right now can we pray for you I'm like yeah let's go um, so a brother actually recognized me praying and just some kind of pain inside my heart as I was praying and he goes, uh, he goes, they start praying for me, and then he gets this vision. And he goes, yeah, so I see, like, this little girl sitting on a little chair, right? And then um, she's actually scared because there are parents in front of her, and the parents are yelling. And he uh, thought it was like, you know, in the Bible says, like, there is neither woman, nor female, nor male. He thought that, like, little girl was me. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> but... Surprise, the Lord was good to me that day. <laughs> and actually, right when he spoke that, I felt like I instantly received like an understanding of that little picture that he was. So, so imagine this, like, I don't know how these things work, right? But this is kind of like the, the whole evidence of what's coming out of this. So this guy gets a vision of a little girl sitting on a chair, tells me, and right away the Lord just puts into like my mind like this understanding. And it's like, it's, you, you, I didn't try to come up with it, it just like, and I understood that that was my little sister um, sitting and listening to my parents yell when she was younger. And he actually showed me where the enemy was whispering. And in that moment when I would see my sisters sit there, I would feel like a coward. I would feel like a coward because I didn't stand up for them. I didn't defend the truth. I didn't stand up for the gospel. I didn't do anything when I was in those moments of being afraid. I would just be a coward and I would run away. I would run away from any problem that came my way because I wasn't strong enough, I wasn't bold enough, I wasn't courageous enough. And as a little kid, I just felt like a coward. I tried to be a good Christian, I tried to be, but when it came to it, something was there, I felt afraid and I just ran. And so I started opening these things up in the prayer to this guy. And um, that's how the enemy made me feel a lot of my walk with him, with God. The enemy made me feel like a coward. He would just whisper it. Like he would just whisper coward. And, 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 and it would take me back to those moments where I was just looking at evil being done and just did nothing about it. And... Um, It's like when you love somebody, right? When you care about somebody and, and, and they're being hurt, 
and you don't do anything about it, um, you don't stand up. It's like, whoa, 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 your love is like, what is your love? Like, your love is, yeah. Um, that's who I was. So I felt like a small, weak guy. And I was just trying to find some sort of boldness and strength, you know? A lot of men measure themselves up as like, uh, with like, you know, certain things of like how they're bold, you know, who could jump off this roof or jump off that. Um, we kind of like like to do that sometimes, you know, do, do who could do the stupidest thing and that's kind of like, that's the man. And, um, but it's funny because that man who can do that like most dangerous thing is usually the one that's the most scared to tell a girl that he likes her. <laughs> and he's the one that like uh, closes up completely. <laughs> so is he really courageous? I don't know. But um, see, like in, in, in this Christian walk, it's actually really hard to step out into the light. It's actually really hard because uh, you reveal who you truly are. And for men, usually it's very not pleasant. It's really small and it's just like, it feels like not great. So we try to like hide in the darkness and try to project an image of ourselves like we're something big. And um, this is actually a really lonely place to be because you never allow anyone to see you for who you are and then never allow somebody to love you for who you truly are. And so feeling like this guy that was just not bold at all, I just try to be bold in everything else because inside I just felt like a coward. And I started praying to God, like, God, how do I answer to the devil? Like, he's whispering coward. What do I answer to him? And the, uh, the, the enemy just like, you know, coward, coward, how do I answer? I knew I had to say something. Um, and the Lord says, it's okay that you're a coward. <laughs> Look at Peter. Three times he denied me. Why are you trying to be something bigger than you are? Why can't you just accept that? Like, yeah, you were. See, when I, when I think of coward, I think of rejection. Because if you're a coward, if you didn't step up and tell that girl something, if you didn't find that boldness, if you didn't step out like a man, you basically lost out on the opportunity. And so every time before God, like, I would feel the same way. Like, if I didn't take that bold step, I felt like this, uh, I associated it with rejection of, like, God, God not being able to use me, want me. And so that was why I was so scared to be a coward, because I thought if I'm going to be a coward, people won't want to be with me or I won't be able to, you know. And uh, the Lord, like in that prayer, like literally it started from a, a little vision that this guy had. And then the Lord just basically revealed all this stuff to me inside of what I was thinking, how I was seeing things. And... Um, the Holy Spirit is with us through our process of failing and getting up, failing, getting up. And I just want to encourage you guys that there are ways the Holy Spirit can like, like in an instant, get rid of your weaknesses, completely remove them, and then transform you into this mighty man. See, when the Holy Spirit like like found me in my weak places, it wasn't like the Holy Spirit lifted me up. It, I, the Holy Spirit had just poured out his love when I, when, I, when I tried to find this love from people and I couldn't get it. And the Holy Spirit just poured out his love on me. And when nobody else wanted me, he was like, yeah, you're, you're my son. And so as you guys grow up, like I'm mostly talking to boys because <laughs> sometimes there's just air <laughs> in the head. <laughs> Sometimes we try to be all big and buff and strong and we think that, you know, girls will like us if we can be big. But it's actually like that kind of impressive bigness, like you can't do much with that. Um, that ain't going to pay the bills. <laughs> that, ain't, that won't connect you like in a relationship. That won't be able to like, you won't be able to lay out your heart just because you can do these big things. Doesn't mean that you'll actually be able to connect. So as young men, don't pursue that like bigness pursue like being transparent about your weaknesses in prayer in these home life groups um because i believe that the lord wants to start working on our hearts and taking all this like stuff that we're ashamed of stuff that we're like embarrassed about 
and just like help get it into the light so that we can just like be lifted up. Because in, like uh, Ksenia started the service, she said, before you could lift your hands up, you got to get rid of that burden. And a lot of things are burdening our hearts as men. There are a lot of things that are in our hearts that are like the, just lies of the enemy. And we don't know how to deal with them. And as long as we're in the dark and we're like, you know, basically too afraid to step into the light, God can't deal with these things in the darkness. We have to come out into the light. And so I feel like uh, at the same time of telling you guys this, I do also want to say, like, I feel like it's a, a new season for you, you men, boys. I'm going to call you men because you are men, um, mighty men of God, that start coming into the light about who you truly are. You don't have to fight. The, you don't have to be like, if you're a coward, you're a coward. Just admit who you are and, like, let's get to the next step. God could use you. God could use you if you're a coward. God could use you if you're something, something. Like, it doesn't matter, who, like, what you, it doesn't matter your struggle. It doesn't matter your weakness. God can still use you. God can still connect with you. God can still love you, even when you're not perfect. So don't try to be perfect as men, as boys, as men. Yeah, like, I like that, as men. Don't try to be perfect as men, um, but just be perfectly you. <laughs> and be that broken man and come out into the light and just know that the Lord can heal all these things in moments. Um, so praise God for that.